We're over here at the Polish Pottery Nook, located inside Once Upon a Time, and joining us to tell us a little bit more about it is Rachel Batten. Rachel, how are you? I'm great. Good. So I'm looking at all of the Polish pottery here, which is beautiful, and I'm guessing it's all hand-painted and everything else. It is. Tell me a little bit more, because there's a rich history behind all this. Can you tell me about that? Yeah. This, this is handmade in Poland. It's a 700-year-old um, art form, um, mostly in the, the last 200 years it's developed into what it is today. Started out as um, simple polka dots and that sort of thing and it's just developed into a, a beautiful, very functional art that you can use every day. Wow, so it's not only collectible pieces but it's actually functional as well. It is. So you can bake with this? What are some of the other functional sides to this? Well you definitely can bake with it and it's, it's great for baking because it's got three glazes on it so food doesn't stick to it and you can take it right from the oven to the table and it makes a beautiful presentation and it's it's very easy to wash because it's got that you know nonstick glaze on it mm -hmm. now I know that some glazes have cadmium and lead and I'm a little concerned about that for my family is that something I need to be there, concerned with no there's none of that in there and the glaze is perfectly safe too everything about it is is very safe and and very functional like I said it's very chip resistant too I've I've been using it for years and I've never chipped it or broken it right that sounds great now I know that as far as the patterns go um, there was some kind of it, there's a history behind the patterns and the cobalt and all that yeah there is um, the main color scheme is cobalt blue they use a lot of different colors in with it but but they always put cobalt blue in the the piece itself and it started out with a peacock design and polka dots and they've they've just um, kind of added to it and changed it up from there people that that make the polish pottery go to art school Wow. To, yeah, to learn this craft. If the pieces are signed, that means that that artist designed it themselves and it's their signature piece and it's, it's really quite a distinction for them. It's, it's uh, you know, an honor for them to be able to, to sign that piece. And That's have great. The, yeah. And then there's, um, is there only one place that's doing these or are there several? There are several factories in Poland that make these. Um, they're all located in a little village and Bolslavik. We buy our pottery from two manufacturers, Zakladi and Ceramica. They're the two favorites. Now you've got a huge selection of the pottery here. Now is it expensive to get started with this kind of collection? or? You buy it a piece at a time. Mm -hmm. It is it's comparable to internet prices and we have the only Polish pottery in Boise too. Wow. So the nice thing about coming in here is our prices are very affordable and um, you can touch it and feel it and you know and know what you're buying and that's kind of nice sometimes I buy things on the internet and I'm not really sure what it's like until I get it home that's great now um, you're located inside once upon a time mm -hmm. um, and then you also have a Facebook page correct we do and what do you have available on your Facebook like do you keep people updated as far as sales and we definitely do yeah we let people know when we've got new shipments coming in and when we've got sales coming and and we have pictures and we have recipes and so yeah like us on Facebook that's awesome and then as far as your location here can you give us a we are at state and Collister inside of once upon a time well it seems like a great gift for the new collector or for you know anybody that you're looking for a gift for especially as the holidays are approaching so Rachel thank you so much we appreciate it so be sure to stop by the Polish pottery nook located inside once upon a time stick around more ETV coming up right after this